Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at what is strategy. It's a term that's used in business all the time, but are we actually being strategic in our plans? In the rest of the video, we're going to take a look at what creates business excellence, what is it that we need to do to identify if we're being strategic, and what can we do to ensure that all of our plans going forward follow a particular strategic pattern. When I work with business leaders, we quite often run a little short exercise where we ask everyone to write down on a little post-it note what they believe strategy to be. Everybody gets kind of the same thing. Come up with, it's a plan of actions and goals and how we're going to get there. It's for figuring out not just where we are, but where we're going to get to and being able to share that plan with others. It's a guide for what the whole company needs to do and how we're going to understand our direction. At the end of the session, we then try to create a single sentence that sort of follows through and rounds up what the strategy needs to be. And the terms that tend to come through is that a strategy is a plan of action to achieve a specific goal in conditions of uncertainty and with limited resources. Most people agree that that's what it is and they're happy to go with it. Then it starts to get a little bit more complicated when we ask, well, what is our mobile strategy? What is our digital Facebook strategy and are these things compliant with the word strategy but more on that in a bit. If we take a look at what the great thinkers say about strategy I have to turn to the 2011 book by Richard Rummelt called Good Strategy Bad Strategy. In this book Richard Rummelt would say strategy comes from identifying one or two of the critical issues in the situation, the pivotal points that can multiply the effectiveness of effort and focusing and concentrating our actions and resources on them. What he's basically saying is that we have to identify the near-term challenges within our business that are stopping or impeding growth. We then have to look at what other options we have within our business that we can leverage, relationships, logistics, whatever it happens to be. And then we've got to focus our efforts on solving those challenges that we have just diagnosed. Rumbled goes on to say that inside every strategy there needs to be a kernel, a strategy kernel. He said we need to diagnose the challenge very clearly and this is something that many business owners struggle with. The actual diagnosis process. Why? But why? And we constantly have to ask ourselves the why question until we can go no further. From that diagnosed challenge we then have to come up with a plan of action or a guiding policy as Rommel referred to it. The guiding policy will tell us what it is that we need to do to solve the problem and then we need to start with coherent action. Many strategies or perceived strategies start with incoherent action and don't lead to any sort of business excellence. What is business excellence? Well, business excellence tends to be made up of three key areas. The strategy, which is highly important, but the strategy then must have alignment within our business to be able to solve the problem. And then we need to have engagement. That's engagement of the staff and engagement of the team. So strategy is but one constituent part. But let's go back to focusing on strategy. What is it that we're actually doing in many cases? Well, what we find we're doing is we have a business plan. The business plan tells us where we are now and where it is that we need to be. Everybody agrees that that is a business plan. But then we start to throw in a marketing strategy, a sales strategy, an innovation strategy, a finance strategy, an IT strategy, an education strategy, a recruitment strategy. And it gets worse because with inside the marketing strategy, we tend to have a web strategy, a social media strategy, a video strategy, a mobile strategy, an advertising strategy, a content strategy, and many other sub strategies. These strategies tend to be woven together with some sort of loose association. And it's not just marketing. IT do this as well. They've got their product development strategies and their testing strategies and sales do it and HR do it. We are all guilty of it. The challenge then comes when we ask a member of staff, what is our strategy? Which one do they pick? So it begs the question, are all of these things strategic? And it's not to say that they're not complicated. An architect's plans are complicated, but we don't say that she is strategic in her work. She's got complicated plans that took many years of training to be able to create. So we have to go back to understanding the basics of what is strategy in the terms of strategic direction for the business. So if we were to take just the simple business plan and understand that all of these other sub plans are extremely important, we can then start to understand that, well, actually, the business plan, which we haven't called strategy, 
is probably the best strategy we have. It defines where we are and where we need to be. It matches our post-it notes. If we were to call that some sort of a business strategy, we would then be able to take a look at what Richard Rommel has advised us to do and start to create some level of measurement as to where we are now. The starting point, and especially when it comes to digital, we can understand and pinpoint with frameworks exactly where we are in comparison to competitors. We can then also define where we would need to be. And the points in between that are actually our strategic mile markers. Each of those mile markers are significant obstacles that we must overcome if we are to achieve our destination, our vision and our goal. Each of those mile markers can then get broken down. Further, the mile marker representing the diagnosed uh, challenge that the business has, which then helps us to form campaigns. Campaigns are bundles of action, stuff that we want to get done if we are to achieve what it is that we're setting out to achieve. And then from those campaigns, we then go and create tactics. And the tactics could be marketing tactics. It could mean we need a statue in reception. It could mean we need a billboard. It could mean we need technology. So now we know what business thinkers call strategy. We understand what the great authors of our time are calling strategy. And we understand that we may have too many strategies within our business. And in fact, they are complex plans that contribute to the strategy. The challenge here is for the business leaders to come up with an authentic vision and over communicate it with the rest of the members in the team. Then it's up to the team to deliver upon that strategy, one mile marker at a time, one campaign at a time and with the tactics that they're all so good at. Thanks for watching.